innovator power tools are we going to talk about today? There are so many of them. There are not just three innovator power tools within you. Not within you amazing group of women. There are an infinite amount, in my opinion. But today I picked three. Three that I believe have the most direct relationship with your financial empowerment. The first inner power tool dun, 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 is your self-worth. Your self-worth. How do you really feel about who you are and the value you have in the world? It's that relationship with yourself that is the foundation of everything else you do in life. <coughs> it's feeling way more than good enough exactly as you are. So you can imagine, when you have low self-worth, that you become your own glass ceiling. You become what's holding you back. And this directly applies to money. As, as I went through many years of health challenges and felt stuck as a victim in that sick box, you can imagine that it altered the way I viewed myself. And I saw myself as weak and fragile and less than capable, so I had a lot of healing to do around self-worth. So before I could really take a good, empowered look at myself and see how much I had to offer the world, I had to do that inner work. And as an entrepreneur, wow, that really, that really became the priority. Because in order for me to be able to value my services and make great money, offering them and making a difference for others in, the life, in, in my life, I had to first know that what I had to offer and who I am is valuable. I had an entrepreneur come as a client, and she was amazing. She had 30 years of experience in her professional field, and now she was launching her own business within that field. And despite all of her experience and her amazing personality, she shrunk in the face of charging people for her services. She felt so small about it and often just gave herself away and her services away for free. I remember her turning point session. On one side of the studio, we created collages and poetry and masks that represented her low self-worth side, that constricted small self. And on the other side of the studio, we created an altar of creative modalities that showed and reflected her empowered self when she tapped into all of those 30 years of life experience and professional experience and her dynamic personality and all her natural and innate gifts. And then we had this line that went between these two polarities. And we played on this line for 90 minutes. We role played. I was the client, she was the professional. And when we were down near the disempowered, low self-worth stage, she was giving me everything for free and feeling really proud about it. And when we made our way up to the empowered side, she was able to name very empowered and totally reasonable, in my opinion, prices. She walked out the door that day with revised packages and services and pricing and was able to increase her earning potential because she claimed her self-worth. The same goes for you as an employee. If you want others to see you as worthy of that raise, of that promotion, of that project, to lead that project you've been wanting to lead, you first need to see yourself as worthy. So my call to action for each of you is to really claim your self-worth to increase your earning potential. Learn how to value your time, energy, and expertise. Ask yourself right now, how will you cultivate your self-worth? 